Hey, it's Ralph Gallagher with Ravex Motorsports, here to give a little tutorial on motocross style helmets for snowmobiling. A lot of people say you can't stay warm wearing a motocross style helmet. I'm here to show you how to do it. This is the Fly F2 Carbon. It's an HMK graphic. Great helmet. It's actually the uh, same helmet that I'm going to be running this year. Um, basically, the key to keeping warm with a motocross helmet snowmobiling is a good head sock, the right pair of goggles, and a breath box, especially if it's cold out. Sometimes I don't run the breath box depending on the temperature, but everybody's a little bit different. Um, Fly actually makes a breath box that fits directly in their helmet, in the F2 Carbon and in the Kinetic Series, which is a little bit less money. Um, this here is made out of a neoprene, so it's windproof. It's got a little metal tab in it so you can kind of fold it and form it to your nose so that you get a good seal. That's the key. You want to have a good seal on your face here because you don't want any exposed skin. That's where the nice head sock comes in and the breath box helps take up any extra area. Um, the goggles that we like to use are 509. Um, this here is the Aviator goggle. This one doesn't have the extra foam around the outside of the frame because the frame is so large itself, so it gives you a really good field of view. Um, you don't see the goggle when it's on, really. There's, there's hardly any, any uh, obstruction of your vision on the sides. Really good peripheral vision as well. Um, so, basically, I can kind of show you on this helmet how this is going to work. So you're going to make sure you tip the, the nose piece in like that, and you're going to pull the strap down over the back. You should get a great seal. I mean, this isn't on someone's head right now, so it's going to be a little bit, a little bit hard to see. But if you kind of come in here with a camera, you can see there's not a lot of space in there. Um, you see a little bit of skin there, and that's where your balaclava is going to cover up, and a little bit there. But you have real good seal on the bottom with the foam on the breath box, and um, this is also the breath box helps block some of that cold air coming through the mouth port, which a lot of motocross helmets are designed to have a lot of air moving through them, so you can get a lot of a lot of uh, oxygen while you're riding hard. Uh, this breath box kind of helps block that in the wintertime. You're going to be a little bit chilly if you're not blocking that wind. Um, so that's the aviator goggle and how that fits in there. And I can show you the other style 5 on I makes. It's called the Sinister Goggle. That's the other key component. This here has a larger foam surround. Uh, a lot of manufacturers, 5 on the manufacturer kind of pioneer that. A lot of other manufacturers have kind of tried to copy them. Um, this here is the Chris Brandt Signature Series. But you can see the extra foam around the top, sides, and on the bottom. That's going to help seal up really well. You'll actually notice this probably seals a little bit better on this helmet than the Aviator. Um, that's why the balaclava comes in handy. The igniter balaclava actually has a windstopper material all around the entire edge, so it helps with that as well. So we'll throw these on here. Once again, you tip the nose piece in first, kind of get the goggles set situated on your face when you're wearing the helmet, then you grab the strap and pull it down over the back. So it's relatively easy. I mean, when you first start doing it, it can be a little... Uh, little cumbersome but once you've done it a couple times it'll it'll be like riding a bike for you. It comes comes really easily so you just kind of get the strap lined up. And then if you zoom in now these goggles have the outriggers so it helps the goggles set in a little bit better but you can see there's, hard, there's no gap in there. It fills up the goggle box really really well. That's the wonderful thing about 509 goggles is that they work really well with any helmet because um, they, they have the extra foam or the large the oversized frame like the aviator. So once again key to staying warm with a motocross style helmet is not putting on 400 miles a day at 100 miles an hour. If you're going to do that, full face helmet's the way to go. This is an HJC CSR2. But if you're backcountry trail riding some tight and twisties, and uh, you know clicking off you know 100, 150, 200 miles, or just you know backcountry all day, once you go with a motocross helmet, you will not go back. Good helmet, quality helmet, so you're safe is the first key. The right goggles, 509's our favorite. Breath box and a good head sock. Once again, this is Ralph Gallagher with Ravex Motorsports talking about motocross helmets for snowmobiling.